That's East Proctor. It's all about here at Moors. I go this way. Thanks for the ride, sir. <coughs> you have lovely sheep. Boys, keep off the moors. Stick to the roads. The best of luck. We were heading into Wales for a weekend break. No more than a two hour drive from the city of Bath where we lived, the town of Hay on Wye. We had a few hours to kill before our accommodation would become available to us, so we decided to spend a few hours exploring the town. Sausage roll. What? Hay on Wye is widely known as the town of books, largely due to its oversaturation of bookshops. However, it could quite easily be known as the town of dogs due to its oversaturation of canines. The situation Quincy was none too pleased about. There's always a dog photo opportunity although Quincy does sometimes require some psychological manipulation. Before long, the emotional toll of a town of dogs had taken its toll on poor Quincy. Thankfully, it was time to head out to our lodgings. It didn't take long for us to get settled. Quincy came off high alert relatively quickly and we settled in for the evening. Lean back on your little uh, climb. Oh, there you go. All the way. Oh, there you go. You go. Unfortunately, but also totally predictably, Quincy's favourite ball had rolled up beneath the lodge. Following on from yesterday's town of dogs, this was not a good start to his holiday. We would be eating at the off-grid gourmet that evening. By Bridges' reckoning, the journey would be far quicker if we walked across country rather than follow the road route. A daylight -like test run seemed more than prudent. Predictably, the journey was not without its obstacles. It did seem more than a little foolhardy to even consider such a walk with a small dog, in the dark, after a few bottles of wine.
Where's he going? Where's he? So the plan is that we're going to go the treacherous way, the way there, yeah. uh, and back, yeah. possibly as it's getting dark. Yeah. Okay, fine. I mean, what could go wrong? It was during a conversation with the off-grid gourmet chef that Bridget shared our planned walk and happened to add that we were half expecting to meet an American werewolf-style fate in the dark on the way home. It was then that he added that a lot of the movie had been filmed in the area. This, surprisingly, was news to us. The slaughtered lamb. That's kind of strange. Where's the lamb? It's probably inside getting cold. Come on. No, really. What kind of ad is that for a pub? I don't know. Would you rather the Hilton? All right. But whatever happens, it's, it's your fault. fault. Right. All right, come on. It would seem that the slaughtered lamb and the fictional village of East Proctor weren't in Yorkshire after all but situated a mere 20 minute drive from our accommodation. Does the phone actually work? No. Yeah, I'm not sure I like what they've done with the interior decor, but, um, you know, and it's all very small. It's all very small. Very small. Very small. As we made our way back to our lodge, Bridget spotted a castle just off of the main road. Castle Clifford was situated on the grounds of a family home and we had been fortunate enough to arrive on a day when the castle was open to the general public. Where are we going? What kind of food? And how are we going to get there? Excellent. Let's do this. Not being the most graceful of social butterflies, I was somewhat apprehensive about the idea of dining with strangers at the off-grid gourmet. Oh, thank you. Pound for pound, and despite my fears, everything went fine, and I did nothing in particular that lowered the tone. Before long, we'd eaten our fill, drank heartily, and were ready for our return trip. It was late, and very, very dark. I can't see where we're going. I don't know where we're going. I can't see anything that's lights. Not even my camera is picking up. In night mode. I'm not in night mode, but it's just dark.
Still incredibly full from the night before, we decided to drive out to Arthur's Stone. Suitably impressed with the Neolithic tomb and the aggravated sheep, we made our way back to the town of Hayon Wai. Hay Castle provided Bridget with a dressing up opportunity which I'm fairly sure was mainly designed with children in mind. It was mid-fashion show that we decided to explore Hayon Wise surrounding countryside, inadvertently stumbling across another American werewolf location. Thanks again. I'm gonna miss you. Bye, girls. You cold? Yeah. Good. It was Bridget who first noticed the similarity between Hay Bluff and the Yorkshire Moors featured in the movie, a fact we didn't confirm until after we'd already left the scene. Quincy had grown reluctant by this stage. He only had little legs, there were sheep everywhere, and the hill looked incredibly steep. You're aware that a bit of it's falling off. The drone had been a present. It would have been fantastic to show some footage, but unfortunately we could barely get the thing off the ground. We think it's defective. Is that what you meant to happen? Okay. It's not the bed.
Despite our failings with the drone, there was one moment of solid victory. Yay! Unfortunately, due to my unbelievable cack handedness, I'd managed to throw the ball under the cabin again a mere half hour later. Poor Quincy. It was the Euro finals. Making full use of the hot tub, we settled in for the evening. Quincy seemed more than a little put out. After a more than well-deserved victory and a few bottles of wine, Bridget set about attempting some yoga. With that, our time on the Welsh border was at an end. Sure, Quincy was another favourite ball down, but the food at Off Grid Gourmet had been incredible, and the werewolf location spotting had been an unexpected perk. All that was left was a meandering drive through the Brecon Beacons back home to Bath.